What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Sports Prodigies podcast with your hosts, I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And today, we're just going to be talking about UFC 251 recap. That was last night. Uh, it was very interesting, a lot of good fights, I thought. Today, we're just going to be talking about the main card. And before we get into that, we want to talk about our sponsor, Manscaped. Uh, what I love about Manscaped is the Lawnmower 3.0. It really does the job for me. I would recommend for all. Jeremy, what do you have to say? Yeah, I love the Lawnmower 3.0. All their products are, are great, and I really recommend it for all. Okay, yeah. So, like I said, uh, UFC 251. Jeremy, you want to start off with the first fight? Yeah, so the first fight of the main card was Amanda Rivas versus Paige Van Zandt, and Amanda Rebos won by armbar in the first round. Yeah, I don't think there's really much to talk about. She got it done, armbar, uh, submission. I, I thought it was a good fight while it lasted, but obviously Rebos got it done. So, well, let's go over the next Yeah, round. I mean, it's what I, it was, well, it's what I expected going into the fight. She was minus 900 favorite. Paige Van Zandt's been out of the sport for a while. She's been doing other things like – Movies and Dancing with the Stars, so she, it, it wasn't, like, a surprising fight. Honestly, shouldn't have been on the main card, in my opinion. Uh, but the second fight was Jessica Andrade versus Rose Nama Hunis. Uh, it, rematch between these two. Rose Dominant was winning the first fight, and then Andrade just got her in a, in a slam, and she got, she got knocked out by the slam. It was really just a freak thing that you don't really see very often, but... I think the judges got this right. I, I, Rose definitely won, in my opinion. Other than she, def, Andrade came on strong in the third round, but Rose definitely got the first two. I definitely don't see it as a split decision. I think Rose definitely won. Yeah, I got to go with you, Rose. I thought it was very good. As people probably saw the pictures, her face was kind of a little beat up, but that's what happens during UFC. I thought she had a great match. Um, I would have definitely give it to her. So, yeah, I think Rose won that fight. Again, like nothing huge to talk about. Next fight that I really liked, it was a title fight. Peter Yan versus Jose Aldo. I watched the entire thing. I had money on Yan. Um, Yan came through. He won. I thought he did in amazing fashion. He was kind of just beating up Aldo the entire time, I feel like. Really got bad towards the end. And obviously, it showed Aldo's uh, will and strength. He made it that far. And obviously, at a point, you have to call it. And I feel the ref did a really good job calling it. But, yeah, Peter Yan's an animal, and I think he's really going to run this division. Well, at the beginning of the fight, I thought Aldo was doing a pretty solid job. He was keeping range. He was getting his kicking game going. But really what just happened is what I expected him to do, he gassed, he gassed out in the, towards the late third round. And you saw what Peter Yan did. Terrible job by the referee. Should have been stopped a minute and a half earlier. Tons of un warranted blows, but Peter Yan definitely uh, deserved the win, but the ref, the Leon Roberts should never ref a uh, title fight again. Most definitely, and I definitely think it was kind of ridiculous. Guy was beating on him for an extra minute and a half, like you just said. Definitely should have been called earlier, but it was called before it ended, so yeah, definitely I agree with you on that. So, talk about the next fight. So yeah, Max Holloway versus Alexander Volkanovsky, the rematch. Volkanovski really kind of just pieced that Holloway up in the first fight, but I don't think the judges got it right in this one. I, I thought the judges were – I thought the judges – Say out right now. Speaking on non-main card fights, I thought they were not very good in a couple of fights before, and I, I, we're in Abu Dhabi. I, we, UFC is usually not there. The judging is – different judges are not the normal judges that we have in America. So for the future events on Fight Island – the judging is something you definitely want to take into consideration here. But the yeah. fight, talking about the fight, I, I thought Holloway, he, he dropped him two times, first and second round, definitely won those two rounds. I thought Volkanovski definitely won the fifth round. I thought the fourth round was close. I thought the fifth round was also close. But it really came down to the third round. Who won that round? And I really thought Holloway won that round. And I, I just don't – I think a lot of people thought Holloway won the fight. And I just don't think the judges got it right. Yeah, I got to say this. I think Holloway was robbed, and it's kind of ridiculous. I feel like the guy won the first three rounds. The fourth one could have gone his side. It was still close. The fifth round, I'll give to Volkanovski. 
But I think it's ridiculous that Holloway lost his fight. He easily got robbed. I think it's ridiculous. I think judging definitely needs to be questioned. But in the end of the day, like, what can you do about it? It's over. I feel bad for Max Holloway. Um, I definitely think he should have won this fight. I think Volkanovski walked away with his belt when he shouldn't have. But you have to move on in life. And tough tough uh, judges like this, you may not get what you want. But that's what you have to accept. You know what I mean? So I personally believe, and I'll say it once again, Holloway got robbed. I don't see it a different way. But the fact that the guy gets to walk away with his belt, you can't do anything about it now. And yeah. obviously the last fight, the main card of the night. You had to say something, Jeremy, or no? No, I'm just uh, saying yeah for you. Okay. Uh, obviously, Kamaru Usman versus Ho- uh, Jorge Masvidal. Uh, Masvidal, six-day notice. Uh, I wasn't really expecting much out of him. I know the guy's an animal, and I said it on our last podcast. But six days notice, it's, uh, it's not a long time. It's very short. And in the first round, my guy came out. I was a little impressed in the first round. But I knew that Usman and what he was doing would dry this guy out. And by the fourth and fifth round, it was over. I didn't like Usman. Obviously, it's a game plan, but I just thought it was a weak move for him to just stomp on legs, hold him against fence. And obviously, that's the UFC. But if you want to be this big guy and talk all this trash, maybe throw a little more punches and don't just hold him against the fence. But then you can't chat on that because there's guys like Khabib who keep you on the ground the whole time. And, yeah, it just wasn't an interesting fight to watch. Going in, I knew Usman was going to win just because Jorge Mazadal had six days notice, like we were talking about last podcast. But the fact that, like, the guy's talking about a finish and never got the finish, went all five rounds. Like, I just didn't like it. I feel a lot of people were disappointed about the fight. And I think people wanted to see more excitement. So, Usman, I don't know who he's going to go against next, but I know Jorge Masvidal wants to run it back. Now, I'd love to see that with Jorge Masvidal getting a seven- to eight-week training camp. I think it would be a lot different. But well, uh, I mean, went five rounds with Usman on six days' notice, so I got to give him credit. I, I could have told you that, the one, the way the fight was going to end, being that I told everyone Usman was going to win by decision, and two, I hate when people rag on Usman's fighting style. These guys, people don't understand – the UFC. Not not every fighter is a flashy knockout artist. Yet, Usman also does get knockouts. But his main style is wrestling. He's a grinder. He's a wrestler. I could have told you that. You shouldn't have been surprised. No one should have been surprised by the outcome. I could have told you that. I wouldn't say boring, I was surprised, I Jeremy. I'm just... But you're making it I wouldn't seem say like... I was surprised, Jeremy. What I would say is that for the person that doesn't watch UFC often, and I could say that as myself, I've picked up on UFC a lot more recently, but I haven't watched it in the past like you have. I would just say it's an overall boring fight. By the fourth and fifth round, I didn't care and watch it anymore. I knew Usman was going to win. And obviously, people have those styles. And like I, like I said earlier, Khabib, not that style, but the guy takes you down and holds you there for five minutes. Khabib's yeah. not a knockout artist. Yeah, but, but that's I'm... how fighters fight, and you can't trash on them for that's the way they fight if they make their money by winning. The guy yeah. won. The guy's an animal. I think, is he undefeated in the UFC? Yeah. Khabib, he's I undefeated just, as a fighter. No, I'm talking about Usman. I think he's undefeated in the UFC. Um, yes. Yeah. I believe so. He might have had one at the beginning of his career. No, he, I'm pretty yeah. sure he's undefeated, though. But, gotta respect him. The guy came out, he won. He, he fought his fight, and that's how you, you plan. You plan to fight the way you want to fight. You don't want to be on a different pace because the other fighter's fighting. So I got to give Usman respect. The guy won, came out, I don't think, with many injuries. But um, that's really it. There's nothing really else to talk about. I know a lot of people that I've spoken to didn't really like the fight. Obviously, Usman with the, with the stomping on his foot and just him holding him against the fence in, cl- in clinch time. It's just like, I don't know. The average, obviously, the person that watches it who doesn't watch UFC often wants to see a nice knockout. Yeah, and like in UFC sure. 249, people loved when Ninganu just came out and knocked out Rosen Strike in ten seconds. And but that's not going to be every fight, and people have to yeah. understand that. But um, you have anything else to say, Jeremy? Yeah, I mean the fight. The fights were just. It was a great night of fights. It really was. I could have told you, Usman was going to do that, but that is what it is. I mean, the Holloway fight, Volkanovski fight was great. The Aldo Yan fight was great. The Nama and Yunus fight was great. They were all just a great fight of night. Great yeah, fight it was a great night, night. and uh, I can't wait to see UFC continue. And obviously, there's more fights to come, and we'll definitely talk about it on this podcast. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Like I said in the beginning, this uh, this is sponsored by Manscaped. 
Shopify.com and use our code capital SP2020 to get 20% off and free shipping. I recommend for all out there listening. Thank you very much. Signing yeah. off with your host, I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And everybody have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.